Hey there, did you get an email from Pinterest or did you log into Pinterest and you saw a notification that your verified merchant status is at risk because you have issues? If so, you're in the right place. Kim here with Little Biz Resources and we're gonna show you exactly how to check and see what the issue is and then solve the problem. So I'm here in the Merchlet Pinterest account. Now we're actually in the process of it updating so you're not gonna see the exact same things but I'm gonna show you where to get around. So you can see we have this notification up here. Now, typically, spoiler alert, typically you're gonna have the problem because you're not getting enough sales. Our site's actually getting sales. So I suspect that because we have a multi-seller account, stat, you know, our, our website's a multi-seller website, that it's somewhere the data is not triggering correctly. So we're getting sales pretty much every day now. And this has been 10 days that this has been like this. So between an hour ago and now it's already changed so something's updating in it somewhere but let me show you how it goes so when you're in here you hit view issues and you can see here that everything it says here that's completed typically and this is what it said earlier was that tag installed and healthy was not completed right so it says it now but it didn't an hour ago so i'm going to go ahead and go into the tag manager anyway to show you where to go and from here you're going to go into tag health now here's where you want to see this one says too few of the product ids included in your Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. Check out events, match the product IDs in your catalog. This may or may not be a real issue. These all, the checkout, these all were um, orange earlier. If you have page visit and add to cart that are, are green and just checkout is orange, then you know it's because you're not getting sales. Okay, and that could be because they can't, people can't check out on your site or it could just simply be because you have slow sales and you need to re-trigger it. The trick for that is simple you make a purchase right and so let me show you just real quick what I've done so here what I've done is this is a hidden product on our page right so I just go into um, another account that I have and I can add this to the cart and then I have a code to zero it out so it's zero dollars and then I just run through the the checkout process really simple that almost always triggers it I would give it 24 to 48 hours to fully clear up but if that, if that doesn't do it, then you need to check and see what's going on with tag. Typically, if you're getting these two, then the checkout is the, and check out the issue, that's what the problem is. Now, if it's not the problem, page visit and add to cart are really simple. Just visit your site. <laughs> There's page visit, right? Click around on some stuff and then add it into the cart. Again, if checkout's probably orange as well, you probably need to do all of them. But how you can check that, by the way, is so we'll go to Marshall.com and I don't have my glasses on. So there was a glare. So we have here the Pinterest tag helper that's in the a Google Chrome extension, right? You can click that. I gotta put my glasses on. I cannot see. And you can see where it says no tag issues or warnings found here. And you can see it says two, right? It's a good two. And there's no warnings and there's no errors. So this is going to tell you the uh, the page visit event right here, right? So this is a page visit event. And then you can kind of see what's going on here if you want to do enhance match something. All you need to do is see this, right? And so if we're going to go in, um, let's just go into here, into craft supplies. And you can see now there's a page visit view category. So you can see that it's, it's giving it instructions and the Pinterest tag helper is telling you it's seeing it. So if it's doing all of that, then you, it's just because people aren't visiting your site or whatever. And honestly, if you have a new site, that's perfectly acceptable. So we can come in here, we can just go into a product and we can just add it to the cart too, right? So we'll say add to cart and then we'll just double check and we'll say add to cart event was success, was sent successfully, right? There we go. That's, we've resolved two of the three. Third one is making an actual purchase. And if you're like me and don't want to just keep testing it, you do want to test. If you have not tested your site yet, you want to test an actual purchase, right? You want to test to make sure that the process is going on. We had an issue not long ago where somebody was attacking our site and it caused our payment processor to shut down. Because the payment processor was shut down, people couldn't make any purchases. So if you're like, hey, I'm pretty sure people are visiting my site and they're adding it to the cart, why are that they're not making purchases? check and make sure that people can make a purchase because if for whatever the connection's not right or something went wrong, there was an update on your site, something happened and they can't check out, then that's going to be an issue period, right? And so you do want to make sure that if you're not seeing sales and you should, like we're seeing sales, 
we're just not getting that triggered on Pinterest for whatever reason. And that's obviously an internal issue here. So I'm actually going to go to the cart and clear this out. And now, like I said, it, it does take some time. I suspect that this is being resolved from either the last couple days or something. We, I've been playing with the code to try to get it to trigger. So something may have triggered it, but you know, I'll keep tweaking it. This should, once that happens, the message that you get on the front, I guess that's right here, should go away, but it could take 24 to 48 hours, right? And I will come back and report back in the description how long it took. So if you're like, hey, I've made it five minutes into your video, Kim, and I want to know more about how to become a verified merchant on Pinterest, congratulations. Thanks for watching. You had no idea what I was talking about, but, um, and you're amazing. So if you're interested in that, I actually put like a little mini course together to walk you through how to do it. Um, I have videos specific for Shopify and WooCommerce. So if you're based on one of those two, there's videos. If you're not, you can still do it. You can, the course will still walk you through how to do it. And you can just ask me, you know, I'll have instructions on how to message me in there. And you can just ask me, say, hey, I've got such and such a platform and I'm stuck on this issue. And I can typically walk you through it. And then I can do a video specifically for your platform. But those are the two more common platforms. So I have videos for all of that. It walks you through the whole process, gives you all of the tips. I'm going to tell you what, I'm actually in a paid course where they taught me how to do it with a completely different platform. So I just took the information and tweaked it and figured out how to do it with ours, which is more complex than a regular WooCommerce store or a regular Shopify store. And I said, oh, wow, um, here are some things that nobody's ever told us. One is that they say, oh, it takes months to get verified. We had a brand new, brand new store and it was 48 hours and we were verified. So if you have a brand new store and you're like, hey, I'm in e-commerce, I want to get on Pinterest. And this is great because one, people go, hey, it's a verified account. So it's a little bit more legitimate, right? And then B, they're like, oh my gosh, I get to see more of your pins and there's, and it automates it. So now whenever any of our sellers post a product onto Merchlet, it automatically posts it to our shop on Pinterest. And so you get the shop button. Um, you show up in more searches. I mean, you saw, we, we haven't done anything with Pinterest and we have, we actually had 8,000 views regularly yesterday and it's going to just going to get higher. So, um, yeah, I, I think that if you are an e-commerce store and you're not a verified merchant, you should get to be a verified merchant and you can get step-by-step -step instructions through our little mini course, depending on when you are signing up, it may not be quite available yet because I'm going to release this video and then in the next week or two, it'll get put up. It might be two days. It might be a week. It might be two weeks. Just depends on how fast I can do videos and between picking up my daughter. So, all right, that's it for this one. If you have questions, just pop in the comments, hop in the Facebook group, whatever you want to do, and I can answer them the best I can. Thanks.